Hello, my name is Greg Morton and I'm out on the lake today for a how, how it works video for the Tower Tube Rack. And as you can see right now, I'm sharing my boat with this gigantic tube. Uh, there's no room for anybody to sit. This thing is taking up all the seating. My only other option is, is to throw it in the lake where it can stay wet the whole time. We've got a better option for you and that's what we're going to show you right now. The Tower Tube Rack. So we're going to walk through the process of getting this thing up on the rack, securing it, and then we're going to take it out for a spin so you can just see how well it stays secured to the rack when you're in motion. So the first step, before we move this thing up on top of the rack, because it's going to be pretty high up, you want to make sure that for the bungee cords you're going to use to secure it in the back, you want to get those hooked up ahead of time. So take the non-adjustable end, and what you want to do is find a handle or something towards the back, and we're just going to clip it onto the handle and we're going to let it dangle down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side if I can do it without falling into the water. And then we'll show you it up on the rack next. All right, now the tube is up on the rack and we have the bungee cords that are dangling down on the two sides as previously mentioned. So the most important thing when securing the tube is the front because as you're moving through the water, at let's say 25, 30 miles an hour, there's gonna be a fair amount of wind that's gonna be trying to push your tube backwards. So securing the front is the most important piece of the puzzle. So what we're gonna do is every tube has your connector, which is what you tied up with to the boat for towing. So we are going to take our adjustable bungee cords and we're gonna go off of the middle crossbar, the screw eye, and you can either try to connect it directly to this plastic piece or you can grab onto this very thick cord here. In my case, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this thick cord. So I'm just gonna bring this around and back onto itself and clip it. And I'm gonna repeat the same process now for the other side. Bring it around and clip it back onto itself. And now, when I push backwards, it's not moving anymore. Okay, now with the front secured, now we can move our focus to the back. Moving to the back, uh, we have our cords that are dangling down. These are adjustable bungee cords, so you can, you wanna make sure that they're good and tight. So if you need to adjust them smaller, you can do that. There's no set way to do this. You just wanna bring it somehow across the tube, uh, down from the side, and just, hook it into the screw eye that's on the rear crossbar on both sides. All right, we've got all four bungees in place, secured in the front with the two, secured in the back with the two. Now we are ready to take this out and give it a test run and just see how well it stays secured to the tower tube rack. For the purposes of the demonstration, we're gonna be going uh, 30 miles an hour, which is our recommended top speed. Keep in mind that how well the tube handles at that speed partially depends on how well it's secured. So you wanna make sure that you get those bungees good and tight. Also, as cool as it would be to show up at the lake with your tube already on your rack inflated, ready to go, we strongly advise against utilizing the rack while your boat is being trailered and towed. Unless, of course, you wanna see your tube go flying off into traffic. Okay, let's get started with the demonstration. So we are now traveling at 30 miles an hour, which is the top recommended speed. As you can see, the tube is holding steady. It's not shifting around. It's not lifting. I'd call this a very successful demonstration of the tower tube rack. Thank you for watching this video. Check the description box below for more videos related to the tower tube rack. Also, please check our website for more detailed information and to place an order. The website is the name of the product, TowerTubeRack.com, all one word, TowerTubeRack.com. And with the help of the TowerTubeRack, let's make tubing fun again.